Automation Blocks for Premiere Pro makes automating things in Premiere Pro super easy. And effectively it's two things at once. First, it's a ready-to-use collection of more than 50 tools and it's also a system where you can easily build your own tools. When you start your next wedding project, you simply select your project type and input the names of the bride and groom. In an instant, Automation Blocks crafts a meticulously organized project tailored precisely to your specifications. Folders, files, as well as sequences and bins inside the project are created according to your unique requirements. For your next slideshow, you just run the Ken Burns Pan and Zoom tool. Automation Blocks assesses the dimensions of your images and fits them into the frame while adding a subtle scale effect, breathing life into your presentation. But there's even more. For those seeking the ultimate automation, our one-click slideshow tool is your go-to solution. Just provide a folder with your images and watch it as it automatically generates a sequence, imports the images, scales the images and animates them, incorporates background music and, if desired, cues the final result for rendering. With automation blocks, you can also enhance your YouTube videos with chapter markers. Mark out chapters in Premiere Pro and automation blocks translate them into YouTube chapter information seamlessly. Automation Blocks has more than 50 tools built in, but if you need even more, we also have the Community Library. Here you can share your own tools and find tools created by other Automation Blocks users. And the cool thing is that all these tools are based on modular building blocks which you can combine like Lego bricks. This script creates a bin with name footage in your current project. Maybe when you start a new project, you always want to create certain bins. So we just duplicate the block and adjust the folder names. If we run the script, all these bins are created for us. This script looks at all footage items in the bin footage and if they are used in any sequence so far, it moves them to this sub-bin. Maybe you don't want to move the used footage items, but just want to give them a different label color. So we just take out the move project item block and replace it by the set label color block. Now, with a single click, all the labels of your used footage update. This single block syncs a folder on your hard drive with a bin of your project. If you choose Subfolders Include, it recreates the entire folder structure inside the project and imports all footage it finds and even deals with image sequences properly. If you change the content of your folder later, just run the script again. It will only import any new footage and don't re-import a second time what is already in the project. Maybe your project uses some motion graphics templates and you need to translate them all to German. This block searches through all Morgards in your active sequence and replaces the text My Title by Mein Titel. Just one click and the template text updates. Maybe you have your translations in a spreadsheet. Sure, let's just put this inside a spreadsheet block and now for each row of the spreadsheet the text in the first column is replaced by the text in the second one. Again, one click and our text updates based on the spreadsheet data. So if you want to work more efficient, faster and more consistent in Premiere Pro, start using automation blocks today.